Okay, so I'm cruising home. Um, let's see. Let's look at my notes. This is going to be a short one. I jotted down a few notes. Um, Uh, Kevin's a public nuisance. I think the 42 year we're going to hunt down and terrorize and mentally batter Kevin and try to get reactions and say Kevin's a public nuisance. So I probably already discussed. Um, but, um, um, I don't know. It, let's just sort of fill in, reinforce the truth, I guess. Uh, what is going on? Since a young age, since five years old, my family's telling mass groups to take turns and anger and rage on me to try to get reactions to say, look what Kevin did. If they can't get reactions, they make up something. Um, and larger and larger groups jump in trying to get the reaction. Okay, so let me explain. Let me try to... Um, if Jason Perlman keeps following Kevin Perlman around, flicking him in the back of the ear over and over, and I scream... Jason might say I tried to, I threatened to kill him. Then Jason will disseminate this. Um, Jason will disseminate this. Um, Jason will disseminate this all to largest groups possible that Kevin's crazy and screaming at him. Right? Leaving out the entire story. But what nobody questions is why is Jason running around screaming these things? Or, not screaming, but disseminating. This is the largest group possible, right? Then, these largest, these, these groups will then start following me from place to place trying to take revenge. Then, if I'm in a situation where I have to defend myself, or they just perceive that I did something back, even the slightest little fart, larger groups are told, look what Kevin did. Um, now this starts at five years old when they're trying to get these reactions to use against me to, to create larger and larger groups to chaos me to death and rid me of the world. Um, so, um, so what's going on here is um, a strategic operation because no, people don't function that way and fathers don't run around saying you're not allowed to defend yourself. Then my family's running around to the entire planet saying Kevin's personality is abusive and he does all these things. So Kevin needs to change his ways. But yet it's never directly said to me because if it's directly said to me, there'll be an argument based on communication. What are you talking about? What are you mad about? So nothing's ever said. It's implied. It's implied, it's hinted. It's implied that, um, it's implied that, um, I'm abusive and, and overbearing, or who knows? I'm a, I'm a, I've always been kind of a shy, quiet, passive introvert. But for some reason, the world's told that I'm trying to provoke people to death and trying to set people up and get reactions uh, straight from Seymour Amster's mouth that uh, I go out trying to get reactions from people and this and that, right? Okay. So then I get older. My brother starts going out doing all his road rage shit, trying to get reactions from people and saying, Kevin did it, right? And then my friends start doing all these things and they say, Kevin did it. And then random strangers start going out doing these things and they say, Kevin did it. Um, and then Kevin starts to find out and they go, Kevin's crazy because he reacted and he doesn't know what's going on. Then I find out what's going on. Then my mother plays the card. Well, you're, you're playing victim, saying that something's being done to you and people don't do that because people can make fun of that. Okay, well think about this 
just ratchet down. We're going to keep attacking you. We're going to keep attacking you. We're going to keep attacking you. We're going to try to put you in jail. We're going to try to put you in mental institutions. We're going to keep attacking you. Just ignore it. We're going to keep attacking you. We're going to keep attacking you. It's your fault. You're a public nuisance. Oh, let me jump back. Okay, so now you're you're handing out business cards with proof that you're being hunted since five years old. Uh, this needs to stop. These people won't stop stalking me. I don't know what's going on. You need to tell me what's going on. You're imagining it. Yeah, bullshit. You keep passing out more and more cards to worldwide groups, taking turns. We're going to rid you of the world for what you did. We're going to rid you of the world for what you did. And then you say, what's this about? I don't know you. You're imagining it. Okay, so it's not about anything. Think about that. Then comes in the victim. Well, Kevin, you have a website and you're passing out cards. So, so, um, you're a victim. Right? Um, but you can't play victim. You gotta be Superman and let people stab you and chop your head off and do this and do that. Because if you react, you're a bad person. You're a public nuisance. If you slightly, if you simply tell people, look what's going on, look what's being done to me, you're a bad person. You're a snitch. You're dead. How many videos do I have? You're a snitch. You're dead. Um, it is what it is. You better accept what's being done to you or things are going to get a lot worse. You name it. Um, and half these people are in the police and government. Um, unheard of. Unheard of. It's unheard of that a family, a mother, would tell you these things. It's unheard of that a father would tell you these things. Unless they wanted you dead or gone. Uh, it's unheard of that people would say you're not even allowed to tell anyone that you're being mobbed to death. It's unheard of that you would call up a hundred lawyers and each one playing some game how you're ruining their life by simply asking them to acknowledge the situation and help you. And then them trying to cover it up by saying you're crazy. Um... It's unheard of. It's not about anything. And then it's like, you get these statements, well, you just want to be who you are, but they keep implying that who I am is doing something wrong. Right? That's the catch. But they never mention that part. It's like, um, if you want to go online and make hot dog jokes and call them wieners, which isn't hurting anyone, that's not abusive or trying to get reactions, right? Um... Okay, so now the roadie Morales, I just wrote some random notes. The roadie Morales sent after me by the LAPD. The roadie Morales uh, spam scam. Roadie Morales is coming at me with some weird scam op spam operations. And I go, I don't want any part of that. Turns out he's trying to do things to pin on me. I go, Roadie, you know, this is how you would send out bulk business mail mailers. And I kind of show him how to do... Uh, bulk email advertising, not spam. Uh, spam is unsolicited email with no headers, no return addresses, no opt-out lists. That's spam. Bulk email is um, emails, emails with what is it? Emails with your business name and a opt-out list is not spam. Um, Either way, even if you did spam, it's not the type of thing that worldwide groups with the government would hunt you down and kill you over. Um, they'd be like, who fucking cares? We have spam folders and everyone fucking, I get spam all day from random shit. So, after Rody Morales' spam scam things, of course, remember, Rody Morales is working with LAP, LAPD to say that I'm involved in some, some kind of spam money-making period that, pyramid that he and his friends or something were were uh, into, and I was sort of starting to realize that Rody Morales was getting shadier and shadier, and I was like, okay, Rody, you know, I don't really want to be around this type of craziness, and that's when my family got mad that I distanced myself from Rody Morales. Now, remember that at one point, Rody Morales tried to plant a trash bag of marijuana in my house with the LAPD to set me up to make me look like a drug dealer, and even though it didn't work for... 10 years later, the cops are flying around trying to make it look like I'm a drug dealer and things like that. Just to, so they can get in my house and plant things on me, right? Okay. Um, so that's just a random thought because someone the other day was hinting that I'm somehow spamming or something by 
trying to contact shitloads of psychologists who all refuse to help me, and be honest. Okay, um, the Can't Stop scam, uh, by my family, Kevin can't stop, Kevin plays too much pool, he can't stop, he suffers from OCD, then it changes, he suffers from paranoia, then it's, he suffers from schizophrenia, he's a violent paranoid schizo, then it's, um, uh, what else, a violent paranoid schizo, um, there's so many psychological bullshit labels, so many, Kevin's delusional, um, you name it, um, Okay, what else? That was like, blah. Okay. Uh, Kevin's, uh, I can't read that. Kevin. So that all turns into Kevin has OCD. Because Kevin plays, we don't like playing pool. Kevin plays too much pool and Kevin can't stop. So it's OCD. Kevin goes to the gym four times a week and so that's OCD. Um, now I could prove to anyone that I don't have OCD and they're gonna get angry. And they're going to say Kevin's fucking with us. Well, Kevin's not doing anything to anyone. These are obsessed psychos following me around since five years old. And a family trying to dictate every aspect of my life, who I should date, what my hobbies are, and then try to lock me away in jails and mental institutions. Okay, so... I don't know what I meant by this. Kevin's somehow doing things in public places. I don't even know what I meant by that, but... Uh, public places... I don't know. I'll, I don't know what, I was, what, what my point was, but obviously everywhere I go, mass people worldwide brutalize me and then try to turn it around. And so... Whatever I meant by that, Kevin's doing things in public places. Um... Uh, what am I doing? I'm reading books at coffee shops, which they get really mad about, um, because they don't like that the content teaches me about abusive people. Um, um, maybe I'll laugh, tell jokes, be friendly. Maybe I'll hold doors open for people. I don't know. What am I doing other than that, right? It's like, well, there's no argument. There's just, you're a horrible person. You need to die, and we're going to lock you away in, in mental institutions. Okay, so, um, uh, what else? But the point is that everywhere I go, people lash out in anger and rage at me, and then they go, they try to get reactions, and go, look what Kevin did to us, Kevin's a public nuisance, Kevin's a violent paranoid schizo, and this has been going on all day and night since five years old, I didn't even realize all these things were connected, right, until 29, with Mike Huntley's police death threats, we're using the system against you. But Why? Right? It's like, okay, so no no answer to that. Just someone doesn't like me since five years old. I need to be hunted and exterminated. Um, why everywhere I go does someone provoke me then say I'm lashing out? I just think I just said that. Then say I'm lashing out. Uh, let's see. Why can't the judicial system just say that mass worldwide groups lashing out in anger and rage at Kevin Perlman since five years old um, is wrong? Why can't they say that? Why can't they say we have launched a worldwide campaign to torture and kill this person? We have no real reason. Um, lashing out in anger and rage is wrong. And, um, that's it. Why can't they say that? Why do they have to make up lies? Kevin's forcing cars on us. Kevin's forcing himself on women. Kevin's doing this. Why? Because they watch Star Wars? I mean, I don't fucking know, right? Okay, so that's the question, is that why can't they admit that a worldwide campaign for 42 years to torture, kill, and eradicate one person for no reason 
with no type of actual arguments is wrong. Right? Okay. Um, I think, is that all I wrote? Oh, I put a note. Kevin supposedly conforms the media. I don't exactly... Uh, it's just a tactic, right? I, my family came up with this tactic at five years old. That Kevin supposedly conforms the media. Now they put all these hidden messages in media to try to make Kevin look crazy. And um, that's it, right? That's it. It's just so weird. And then they run around saying Kevin's crazy and conforms to the media. Right? What's that about? Okay. So, um, you know why? Because a family hates their child, right? I mean, that's where it starts. Okay. So, uh, let's see. I have here Tom Farley Pasadena tactic. Did I explain the full thing of this? I'm not sure. Let's just quickly go through it. Tom Farley supposedly gets two hit and runs. Um, Tom Farley is supposedly an alcoholic. He's supposedly a speed addict, but he's been stalking me my whole life trying to frame me and set me up and make me look crazy, so I don't know if he actually was. He supposedly is involved in two hit and runs. He's supposedly arrested for two hit and runs. They're trying to sort of make me look like Tom Farley on the next set of frame job. I don't know what you call it. This, this whole body double, I'm pinning my shit on Kevin type thing. Um, Tom Farley. Tom Farley. They say, Tom Farley, you can go to rehab or this or that. Tom Farley goes to rehab in Pasadena. He's also working me on me with a guy named Leo Anders and uh, Matt, like I think a roommate or something. And he's trying to connect Matt to a Matt in Colorado that was working with Matt and Eric Feely and the government sending some uh, squatter into our house to try to make it look like I was doing things to him, which of course I didn't do anything to him either. He kind of weaseled me out of the house and he was reported to the police a few times and the police are coming after me for calling the police for the squatter, right? Well, why would the police come after me for calling them about a squatter who's migrating me out of my house and it go to every police station worldwide saying Kevin did these things and Kevin's a violent paranoid schizo, right? Doesn't make any sense, but it's the next thing in the bag of we're going to rid Kevin of the world. Okay, so... Tom Farley moves back from Pasadena and his parents kick him out of the house and um, and um, I say you can stay with me and then he's working with the police trying to work on some angle with uh, hit and runs and things like this, right? I mean, things that just don't make any sense, right? Okay. Um, so that's the high speed version there's a lot a lot in between on that but that's the link between Pasadena and Woodland Hills which there is no real link other than worldwide propaganda and fiction just because someone wants me dead um, what else um Okay, I'm going to pause for, you for a few seconds because I'm out of notes and I'm off topic here. Oh, no, no, let's talk about the whole game thing. I don't know where this comes from. Um, Mike Huntley, when I was 29, Mike Huntley was showing me all these movies trying to sort of, just like Adrian Olivares. Olivares Adrian Olivares was sort of using like movies as threats to try to make me look like a, a violent, paranoid schizo. And I wasn't picking up at the time on the little movie threats. Uh, Adriana Olivares was showing me Vanilla Sky with little threats like you lived a reckless life and now you had better be responsible or something like that, which didn't make sense because how is my life reckless? 
I don't understand. Did I take a class my family didn't approve of in college? Is that reckless? Okay, so anyways, I actually live a very clean life. It's just, I turned 29 and found out I was being hunted for things that don't matter, like farting wrong. Okay, um, and yet Adriana is running around saying her daddy was a drug dealer, is a drug dealer, and threatening my life and things like that, and making up every lie, giving it out to the world. This is the person talking about right and wrong, correct? Uh, Adriana also was sort of showing me the movie Quills. Um, with a little hint, you don't talk, we lock you in a cage or mental institution. This ongoing mental institution thing my entire life. Um, okay, so Adriana. Um, where are we? Um, uh, after that, Mike Huntley was showing me movies, and one of them that he wanted me to see was Fight Club, and after this, people are trying to make me think I'm like Tyler Durden and trying to insinuate that I'm somehow doing things to people, like starting fights. And then Mike Huntley wanted me to see the movie The Game, which is a very good movie, and people are running around saying that I'm an asshole. Does this all seem strange to you? And we're jumping from movie to movie. Um, at one mo point, Mike Huntley wanted me to see a movie called Don't Say a Word, as some kind of like threat, which is very synonymous or parallels off the type of privacy violations that they're doing to my life to try to trigger me and make me crazy and set me up and lock me away, right? Now they're going to say, remember this starts at five years old and I had no clue it was going on, but they're going to say, Kevin's a violent paranoid schizo because he's talking about us doing to things with him by showing, showing him movies. Now my brother, when I was young, with all of his friends, kept wanting me to see horror movies, which isn't really a big deal. Nobody would care. And then maybe six years ago or ten years ago, even at a Malibu Starbucks, people are sitting down next to me starting conversations like, you know, people who have watched horror movies need to be removed from society. Things like this, right? Things that you cannot even comprehend. You'd be like, what? what is this, am I in a Twilight Zone? But yet here we are. Uh, it's been 18 years. Uh, my family is doing whatever it takes to lock me away. Oh, that's right. They're using things like the movie Ender Game, trying to hint it like I'm brilliant, like the kid in Ender's Game, to try to figure out how to sort of lock me away, make them crazy and lock me away in mental institutions and things like that. Right? Oh, they're using the movie uh, It, Stephen King It, Pennywise the Clown, because my brother would do all this shit with pennies when we were young, and of course, pinning his shit on me, once again, just like all this road rage shit. Um, right, so you see how it's going from movie to movie? Now, I didn't even know this was going on at first, until maybe years later, and I notice that, um, years later, and I notice that, um, there's actually things in movies that are sort of linked or relevant to my life, right? I don't really know how to explain that because there are coincidences, yes, but there's things that... Oh, I know how to explain it. The people around me were sort of reenacting things in, a mo in the movies in such a way to try to make me look crazy. But what they're doing is because I sometimes quote movie lines, they're, just, they're taking that out of proportion they're blowing that out of proportion and then saying, look what Kevin's doing, so we're going to do it back to him. But they're apples and orange comparisons. I'm just quoting a movie line because I like a movie line. They're doing it to try to create mental illness and make me look crazy, right? So that's kind of their conforming to media thing. Now remember, the whole media thing with them starts... Um, the whole media... Um, the whole media... Th thing starts at five years old with the movie Wizards 1977 and when I started sketching pictures for the movie my father flipped out on the defense of my father flipped out on the defense of because he saw me drawing pictures from the movie Wizards or doing grateful pictures dead pictures with guns and he just starts flipping out in guilt right I don't I, I didn't know why at the time I'm like I just drew a fucking picture for someone I drew a picture for Patty Guggen what's the problem but remember nothing's actually said Nothing is said about anything. So, um, nothing's said about anything. So, um, 
you're watching this thing and you're going, I can't believe it because it's it's happening from 100,000 to like a million people per day worldwide and you're just saying, what is going on? And you have a mother and father like, you know what you did. Your past caught up with you and you're like, what the fuck? And then you find out some of these things. Hey, you quoted, you quoted Newton's three laws of physics. You're a criminal because you quoted Newton's three laws of physics. Right? Does that even make sense? You're a criminal because you quoted Newton's three laws of physics. And they try to twist and contort things, every, every aspect into this set. We got a father that I gave a watch to him for his 30th, or I don't know what birthday. I gave him a watch to my father for one of his birthdays, and he like spent the rest of his life trying to have me killed for giving him a fucking watch for his birthday. And he's trying to say that I somehow did something to him. Right, so you have to understand the dynamics between these uh, paranoid psychotics and narcissists and how I'm just out living my life and they're following me around trying to get things to use against me and then they're twisting it and contorting it and launching worldwide campaigns to eradicate me. But once again, it starts at five years old. And the only thing that happened at five years old is I threw mud in the street and hit a car. Okay, there's no, there's no argument here. There's just a family. I hate my child. I want him dead and gone. And they're going to say and do whatever it takes with worldwide support. Okay, so um, I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think the point I was making is there's this theme on games, right? They're mad about games. And then they play this game like we're going to put... Just like we're going to put Kevin in media. We're going to put Kevin in games since five years old. We have my stepfather babbling weird shit about his real estate. And playing Monopoly with people's lives and weird shit like that. And then trying to get me to come along with him on his real estate. To teach me about real estate. Where he's trying to make me look like a crazy man. Uh, things like this. Right? doesn't even make any sense um, and so um, um, it's just the next thing right we're gonna put you in movies we're gonna put you in games we're just going to try to make you look like a violent paranoid schizo with worldwide support and get those reactions and try to make you look like a public nuisance but why Right? Is there a reason behind any of this? I'm not allowed to know. I just keep asking, what is going on? There's a worldwide person, person after person, worldwide, wants me dead and gone. But what's it about? We won't tell you. Uh, we hint that it's because you told a harmless joke, you have weirdos coming up saying you say you've done the you said a mean thing crime. I mean, give me a fucking break. We're gonna we're sort of gonna discount the um, we're gonna discount the what am I looking for? We're gonna discount the fact that there's an entire planet taking turns on one man because the argument is you said something mean. Okay, do you even understand the ramifications that if every person was hunted by worldwide support for saying something mean sometime in their life? that humanity wouldn't exist. There would not There would be no human beings left on the planet. They would all have killed each other, right? Um, I mean, that's absurd, right? So you, you said a mean things as a worldwide campaign to kill you. You're an asshole, so there's a worldwide campaign to kill you uh, for 42 years. Then it goes to weird shit like your friends called you Kid Taco. Which was obviously about my car, but... So? Right? What's, what's the... Uh, did I miss something here? And then my family's running around and it's because he keeps talking. Well, so? Do you see me keep talking? No? Okay. What's the point? What's the problem? Okay. So, um... Then we have the weird covert things like them putting court reporter Debbie Woolman with the LAPD audio surveillance while they try to torture me to death and try to get me to talk to myself in my house. Try to make me look crazy to put me in mental institutions. What was my brother's threats at 16 and this ongoing theme of we're going to put Kevin in a mental institution or a cage? Once again, where the fuck does it come from? 
All I can tell you is that I had a father that put Maggie, our English sheepdog, in a, not a tiny cage, but a cage when it could have been running around the backyard, and then he put shock collars on Rhoda. And when you're a little kid, you're not really thinking about that. But you get older, and you're like, that's pretty fucking strange. I mean, my father was mad that Maggie would get out of her cage, and she'd be running around all happy. She's out. My dad's like, this dog's crazy. I'm like, Dad, the fucking dog's like, it got out of his fucking cage. It's happy, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> and then you have World Wide Goose trying to say that I did something wrong by saying that to, like, a friend in private in Colorado. And it's like, you're a snitch, you're dead. Whoa, I'm a snitch, I'm dead for talking about my life with a friend in private? Doesn't make sense, right? How are people getting the information? Illegally. On these worldwide propaganda we're using. Okay, well, so we got things like phone. We're disseminating shit off your phone. That one's obvious. But that's way... That's that's towards 2000 and something. Um, they were doing all their mental illness internet things to me since 1994. They are sending all these women and people after me since 1994 on internet-related chat. Um, none of these people... There's no accountability for the mass crime spree against me that they're trying to cover up. Um... Um, right? It's just weird. It's just the strangest thing. And so they're trying to lock me away. They're doing whatever they take to lock me away. It's not about anything. Everyone's operating illegally. And it doesn't matter who you talk to. They just go, I don't want to admit that you're being um, hunted and mobbed to death since a young child. They don't want to talk about it. They keep leave, intentionally leaving it out of the argument. Kevin's crazy, and uh, Kevin's abusive, and Kevin's doing all these freaky things. And you're like, did I just totally miss something? I'm the only motherfucker that's being a decent person, and I don't even understand what's going on. And then you realize why you've been single up until 29, and then they really get fucking mad. They're like, he's a sociopath. And you're like, am I fucking in a twilight zone, right? And you have all sorts of freaky things. Um, you name it. It doesn't matter. They just keep coming after you. And everything is based on blackmail. And you kiss my ass. And you do what we tell you. Or we kill you. Or lock you away. But nothing's really about anything. That's the strange thing. It's like, what's it about? It's, it's equivalent to what Adolf Hitler did to the Jews. Or... Uh, the slave owners did the slaves, or you name it. It is identical, except the difference is that we're talking an entire planet against one person escalating since five years old, and not one person sees that what they're doing is wrong. And so I have to suffer. Right? Okay, think about that. Um, so anyways, they, they try to play this game. Well... Kevin tells jokes on the internet. So, Kevin, Kevin's, uh, do you see people running around trying to kill, like, Howard Stern mentally ill and rid him of the world? No. People love Howard Stern, and some people don't understand him. But, that's the point, is, if I'm, if I'm making jokes on the internet, like H Howard Stern would, you know, everyone's like, yay, Howard Stern's great, and to Kevin Perlman, it's, he's, He's a troll, and he's trying to, rid, and we're going to rid him of the world. And you're like, well, I don't even fucking know you, and you're not even following my account. So if you're not following my account, I don't know you. You're somewhere off in fucking Podunk, England or something, and you know what's on my account, on my social network, and you're offended, and you're hunting me down with the LAPD, uh, NSA to rid me of the world. Is something a little weird going on here, right? What did I do to you? I've never seen you. I don't know you. You're not even following my social accounts to make up lies. Narcissistic lies. Like that Skylar girl changing her name to Skylar after me joking around, taking a meteorology class, asking why the sky is blue, who is working with the police and government. Well, oh, Kevin's committing crimes because he says, why is the sky blue? Kevin's committing crimes because he quotes physics equations like, um, or physics laws like um, for every action there's an equal opposite reaction I'm ruining people's lives I've threatened people 
Wait, if that's a, if someone thinks that that's a threat to them, then that motherfucker needs to get some serious help. Just like my fucking father, like giving my father a watch for his birthday and him saying I'm going to kill my son. You get the idea, right? Okay. So, um... So my father wants to incarcerate me for life or put me in a mental institution with the rest of my family for finding out what they're doing. Now they're going to make up every cover-up lie they have since I was five years old. It just goes the newer lie and the newer lie and the newer lie. And what does that say about those types of people? Those types of people that follow you from place to place your entire life trying to exterminate you? Um, trust me, they're not good people. Okay? I don't know any of these people. These people all come in my life working on me and then they turn around. And then you defend yourself going, look what these people are doing. And the next set of people come after you going, you're going after people. Well, but look at the facts. The facts are right there in fucking front of you. There's no argument. Uh, example, Seymour Amster intentionally lost the trial and intentionally lost the case. I switched attorneys. What's the new argument? Well, you're trying to go after attorneys because he's trying to fucking rid you of the world. <laughs> right? It's like, it comes back to my father and my Conley statement. You're not allowed to defend yourself, Kevin. We're going to hunt you down and kill you and just die. Okay, so I'm going to leave this at a short excerpt because I got shit I got to do. Um, and um, I will continue. I'm going to try to continue to do these diverted or curved kid tacos which my friends are really mad at me for learning how to build cars the same with my family how dare I uh, I'm going to kind of divert the conversation or I'm going to try to do these up until the probation hearing date on the 22nd yes they're doing the 20, the 20, the twos and 22 patterns I don't know what their problem is with twos uh, I think I explained it before. My mother's mad because I R C I type two instead of T O. So if you misspell a word in my life, you're hunting killed for it with worldwide support. That doesn't make sense either. Okay, so my pro my mother has a problem with twos. Uh, my family, I can't I can't understand that. And at 29, she said something weird like you have a problem too, and keep your chin up. Okay, and all sorts of weird shit like she's just babbling off this weird fucking psycho insanity. Okay, so, but yet people are somehow believing this psychotic murdering family. Okay, so like I was going to say, October 22, they've written up some kind of probation violation, and my lawyer's sort of going this way and that way, and trying to get dig for information to use against me. The new lawyer, I think, I'm not 100% sure. Um, and, um, because nobody's straight fucking forward. Nobody, nobody is... This is what's going on, this is what was said, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, um, okay, so you get the idea, right? They just want me dead and gone, and they will not stop, and they will not tell me what it's about. Um, and that's it. And so I have to kind of suffer and wonder what the fuck this is even about. And up until 29, I'm off out living my life and fairly happy, and it's like, what the fuck? Right? It's like, why are you so angry at me for going out and trying to live my life and being a really good person? Okay, but they don't care about any of that because your average garden variety murderer that launches a 42-year murder operation or extermination operation doesn't care that you're a good person. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. But because there's these illegal things going on and they don't want me talking about my life, they're now claiming, like I said, that that the therapy isn't working, but what's the therapy? Learn to get bashed in the skull over and over until you die? I mean, and they're nitpicking the therapy like stupid things that don't make any sense. So anyways, um, and what's most important is that, what's most important is all the defense attorneys, all the defense attorneys are working together saying I'm not gonna give you a defense Back to my father, Mike Huntley. Um, we're using the system against you. I've given you enough rope to hang yourself with, your, and you're not allowed to defend yourself. You gotta kind of wonder what the fuck is remotely going on, right? Okay, now we also have a mother saying, "My past caught up with me." We have a father saying, "You know what you did, but I'm not going to tell you because when people lie, because people can lie, 
That doesn't make any sense. You know what you do because people can lie. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hunt you down where I support to exterminate you because you know what you did. And then my family's like paying off the police to lock me in jail and rid me of the world without any fair trials or anything. Okay. And then they're trying to sort of thug me to make decisions. We're going to put you in jail for seven years, or you have a choice to going into this plush mental institution. Mental institution. Well, why are they, why are they obsessed that so bad that they spent 42 years trying to put me in a mental institution? I mean, I don't think that's fucking love. Okay, so um, you get the idea. Um, my mother can't deal with the fact that she and the rest of my family can't differentiate right and wrong. Um, and I'm the only one that can. Um, and yet they somehow have the police in their pocket to hunt me down and exterminate me for no reason with billions of government dollars. I mean, that is freaky. Okay, so, um, in case something should happen to me, the, these videos and the proof of the mass eradicate Kevin operations will always be online. Um, and that's it. Um, I will until probably tomorrow.